Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about choosing the right platform for trading. Again, this is part of our series in making $250 a day trading. So initially, when I did that video, um, I talked about making $250 a day trading on the Weibo platform, but I've gotten a lot of questions from some of you guys asking if you can, you can use other platforms. And some of you even talk about that Weibo is so complicated, you can um, trade on other platforms, which I totally agree. And I, I think that you should be able to choose whichever platform you want to trade on, provided that platform gives you the ability to trade. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to trading, guys, uh, there's particular things I want you to take a look at. And the number one would be your platform. Yes, you want to make $250 a day, but how do you go about making that? You need a, a platform that would give you the ability to be able to trade to make $250 a day. So choosing the right platform is like if you want to uh, race, if you want to go do a car race, you have to choose the right car that would you can drive that would take you to that, that place or that would allow you to win the race. So in this case, you're choosing the right platform, the right broker that will give you uh, the opportunity to be able to place your trades uh, on time and be able to uh, you know get your questions answered if you had any questions as far as using the platform so here I do have a list here five uh, criteria or five things that you should definitely consider when you're choosing the platform so the first one here is is the platform user friendly and when I say user friendly that's very subjective because what you can consider user friendly to me would be so just uh, cumbersome and what I consider user friendly it could be an issue for you so definitely go out there try different platforms which I'm gonna give you a few here uh, subsequently try different platforms and see which one really works for you which one has the visual uh, the friendliness that you like um, in that way you can decide if you want to use it or not uh, the second point I have here is commissions so when it comes to trading uh, there's a lot of commissions that you can pay uh, but today a majority of the platforms that you see out there uh, thanks to Robinhood stop charging commissions for trade so let me give you guys some context here back in 2007 2008 when I was investing you would they would charge you seven dollars uh, commission per trade so if you bought a ten dollar stock you pay seventeen dollars so it's the stock itself is ten dollars your commission was seven dollars so just to go into that trade you already drop seven dollars let's say you wanted to sell that stock and the price was fifteen, uh, ten dollars for the stock, and the price at that point had dropped to say nine dollars. You still pay seven dollars. So to go in and out of the trade, seven dollars to go in, seven dollars to get out. That's fourteen dollars to go in and out of the trade. I mean, irrespective of if you made money on that trade or not. So, but fast forward today to twenty twenty one. We have all these platforms from Weibo to Robinhood to TD Ameritrade to Vanguard, all charging commission free trade so definitely that's something that you want to consider find a platform that gives you the ability to trade uh, commission free number three is the account minimum um, certain brokers require you to put in a, a minimum amount deposit so if you don't have a ton of liquidity and by that I mean you don't have a ton of cash you want a broker that would allow you to be able to deposit the money that you have uh, to allow you to trade so definitely take that into consideration because some have minimum deposit some could be say a thousand dollars or five hundred or two thousand uh, based on the broker so definitely uh, take um, you no know, take that into account the third one would be the broker fees uh, some brokers have fees that you have to pay um, again fees would vary depending on your account type let's say you have a margin account do they charge fees for you know for you to leverage margin and what are the fees so if you're leveraging margin what are the fees that you pay so all those little things definitely come in so if you let's say you have a reverser in your uh, ACH transfer how much money are they going to charge you for that reverser and then so other all, all those little fees do add up over time so make sure that you understand the fees that are associated with that broker before you sign up and start using it otherwise you're going to be scratching your head uh, down the road and last but not the least is your trading style and your need so in this case when I talk about your trading style are you a short seller are you um, somebody that goes long for the most part 
hey, again, are you kind of like a swing trader? Are you an active day trader? Do you place and uh, go in and out of trades um, at a very high rate? So those are the little things that could also impact you. So you want a platform that can give you the ability to go in and out of a trade. You want a platform that can give you the ability to be to short stocks if you want to. So definitely um, look at it. And then the different account types that are associated uh, with the different brokers, they, also plays a huge part so just to give you guys an example of some of the platforms that i think are would be so uh beneficial to you so i'm talking about webo is actually the one that i use and that's what i i would recommend but if you think that webo is so uh cumbersome or it's, it's just so untidy then definitely find something else there's other options like td ameritrade is another very good option um that you can definitely uh check out then here you have interactive broker I haven't used this one, but I've heard some really good things about Interactive Broker. So definitely go out there. They have, uh, you know, free trials. You can try them out. Trade Station is another one. I don't use it, but I hear good things about it. Um, E-Trade, um, as well as uh, Robinhood. For, for those of you guys that are, uh, use Robinhood, you can also trade using Robinhood. So those are some of the platforms that you can definitely consider. So when it comes to choosing uh, the platform that you want to trade with. I want you to spend a, a good amount of time really going through and trying these other platforms to see what best fits your needs. So this is not a one size fit all. I use Weibo, it works for me, but I want you to also look for a platform that works for you. So if you trade on, or if you invest on platforms like M1 Finance, Stockpile, uh, SoFi, you're not gonna be able to day trade on those platforms because they're, they're transactions don't get processed the same way that Weibo and Robinhood or TD Ameritrade would uh, get processed. So you definitely want to put that, take that into account. So I do have all these different platforms, but I use them for different reasons. So for day trading, Weibo is definitely my choice. Um, when it comes to my swing trades, I use uh, Vanguard sometimes, I use uh, TD Ameritrade sometimes. And then when it comes to long term, my long terms are all in uh, Vanguard and then I did use M1 Finance for a while, but I don't use them anymore But so you definitely want to find a platform that suits your need and, and definitely go with it So that would be my take again the five key things that I have here that you want you to kind of take into account before you choose your platform would be number one user friendliness how friendly is that particular platform how easy is that platform for you to use number two is how how are the commissions? Do they charge commissions, commission free? What are the commission circumstances on that platform? Number three, account minimum. Are there any minimums? If yes, how much? Uh, number four is fees. Are there any fees? If yes, how much are the fees? What percentage uh, do they charge for fees? And finally, your trading style, which is you have to decide that uh, on your own and see what works best for you. Again, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Do you currently use a platform that is different that, or that's not on the list that I mentioned? If yes, drop it in the comment below. Maybe somebody can go try them out and see if it works for them. Again, if you are new here, guys, we talk about how to invest, how to build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and any notification bell so you don't miss out on your content. If you are looking to get started with investing, again, I recommend Webo, but you don't have to use them. My affiliate link is in the description below. If you use them, sign up, deposit $5, you get free stocks at no cost to you. Again, check out the links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage, stay motivated.